Yes. What I, found, what I found interesting about this slide, if I could jump in for a second, is, and I think Chris pointed this out last time, he's like, number three, <laughs> the ravioli one fell one year before <laughs> Ensign. You know ravioli. <laughs> and, and how is that not super uber famous? Like, how do we all know Ensign? They have a, a rock, a meteorite show every year in Ensign when one year earlier, a sister city was like, hey guys, what about me? <laughs> Well, I'm well, looking was... at the Met Bull and the uh, Revolta is 103 gram. Oh. Since most of us that been to NCSM have seen at least the piece that is left there, I guess that was much more impressive. Okay. <laughs> that makes a huge difference when you when you factor it's only 100 grams. It could probably only be witnessed by a few people and, and found by a few people and owned by a few people versus anyone can go visit the Ensign Mega Rock. Yeah, and, and Ensisheim also uh, was uh, reasonably well um, published and talked about at the time. There are some uh, uh, engravings and uh, such that were done, uh, you know, at at the time or shortly after the time that it fell, and uh, those have become, you know, significant works of art. There was also a one-page um, uh, it's essentially their equivalent of a newspaper uh, at at the time, uh, printed about the Ensign fall with a woodblock multicolor uh, uh, image of it falling as well. So uh, Ensisheim was witnessed by many people, and uh, and again, this one had some some cultural significance too. Uh, the the in order to make sure you know people stop hitting it and taking pieces away from it it was actually uh, stored and displayed in a church and uh part of the story is that they chained it down to the pedestal it was on because the thing arrived from space and they didn't want it going back to space to get away from them they wanted to keep it there <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> i think they had to worry more about little you know pocket knives and stuff like that because man i'll tell you what i should say as a meteorite curator and dealer man if in the uh, 1500s I was close to that rock and had me a little pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> Helfer. 